Hello, hello, everybody. What's going on? Thank you guys for joining me, Dub Nation. What's going on? It's your boy, Alan Wade, in the building. All right, so I've been thinking, I've been getting this video, this uh, request a lot, asking me how to put my files specifically on a flash drive to put it into the embroidery machine. So I'm going to show you guys how to put files that you download offline onto a memory stick. All right, if this is not the video for you, you can skip past it, but people are requesting it, so I'm gonna make it for you guys. But really, really fast, guys. I'm thinking that maybe I should offer on alanaway.com a memory stick with files preloaded onto it already. That way you don't have to go through this whole putting the files on a memory stick to um, put it into your embroidery machine. You could just have the files um, sent to you on a memory stick preloaded already you just plug it into the machine and all the files are right there no folders to dig through anything you just plug it into the machine all the files are on there let me know if you'd be interested in purchasing something like that from alanaway.com and I can make it um, happen like sometime this week as a matter of fact so uh, let me know if that's something you guys would like to to have um, in the comments down below if I get five people if I get five people saying that they will purchase something like that then I'll put it available on my website I do something like ten dollars um, for like I don't know 15 files 15 embroidery files or something like that I do different different packages like that because I think I'm up to like 30 files right now so I'll do something like that um, I have different different packages with different um, amount of files on a memory a flash drive okay so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in purchasing and I will put that on my website if I get five people that say in the comments down below that they will purchase something like that okay so let's get into it how do you put files that you download online from from your computer onto a memory card let's navigate over to our computer and see all right, so we are over here in our PC computer, and most people are going to be using PCs, but we're, I'm also going to show you guys how to do this on a Mac. So briefly, just to show you guys, we are on alanaway.com, embroidery files. This is where you're going to go and purchase whatever file you would like to purchase. I got three pages of files right here that you can download. Um, for one dollar for each purchase. Okay, so when you download one of these files. You're going to get an email. You're going to get an email. You're going to go to the email and there's going to be an attachment, a download link actually, not an attachment. There's going to be a download link. You click that link and it downloads the file onto your downloads folder in your computer. All right. So we're going to go to a website and I'm going to download a file and pretend like it's um, pretend like it's the download link. Okay. So we're going to go to awproductions.com. And just so you guys know, I have a few free files on here that you guys can download. So here's a Nike Swoosh embroidery file, and there's also a Puma embroidery file. So I'm going to download the Puma embroidery file. Okay. And you see right here, um, the Puma embroidery file has been downloaded right here. And it's in our downloads folder on our PC. So let's go over and look at our downloads folder. You click right here, and you go to the folder that says downloads all right um, it might be on this side and you might have to click on this PC and go to downloads click on downloads and there's our file right so what you got to do to get this file onto a thumb drive is you have to insert the thumb drive thumb drive is the same as memory stick memory stick thumb drive um, external hard drive all the same thing so you get one of these you put it in the side of your computer in the USB part right here insert it in most cases it'll pop up like it just did on mine so just not to confuse you you go back to the downloads folder right back to the downloads folder click on the file and you can press control C if you're on a Mac what control C does is it copies it copies the uh, the file or you can navigate up here and you can just press after you click on the file, you can just press copy. All right, that's two different ways. It does the same thing. Then you're going to navigate down here. Now, 
the hard drive that you inserted most likely is going to be the USB drive, USB drive, drive D. So you're going to click on that and then you're going to either press control V or you're going to press paste. In this instance, I'm going to press paste. Actually, I'm going to press control V, which is the same thing as pressing paste. All right, control V. Now you see the Puma file is on my thumb drive. If I press paste, it'll say, do you want to replace it? Do you want to skip it? Do you want to uh, compare both? Okay, so that's that's like doing the same thing. It would have pasted it second time, and the second time would have um, had like a number two, Puma logo two at, um, behind, behind the uh, word logo, okay? So that's how you put the hard drive onto an, I mean, that's how you put the uh, file onto an external hard drive or a, um, what do you call it? Uh, memory stick. <laughs> All right. So you also want to um, eject these things properly. So you go right over here, click on it, click on the memory stick right here, the icon of memory stick, click on it, and then press eject drive. You double click on it and press eject drive. And that makes it safe for you to pull out your thumb drive. Okay, guys. So I hope that was helpful. Now let's go on to a PC and show you, I mean a Mac and show you guys how to do it on a Mac because some of you guys might be using Macs, okay? Close up my uh, my PC here and pull out my Mac computer. All right guys, so now we're on our Ada Productions uh, YouTube channel. Let us navigate over to um, Ada Productions, the home. All right, same thing applies. You put the uh, memory stick into the side of your, in your USB drive right here, into the side of your computer, and it loads up. And you go ahead and navigate down. And this time, let us download a different file. Let's download the, not, the download the uh, swoosh embroidery file. So boom, same thing applies. It goes down into the downloads folder, right? So then you're going to go ahead down here if you're on a Mac, go ahead down to the downloads folder and click open, right? So now here's our Nike swoosh PES dot PES file. So you click on it, you can come up here and do copy, right? Same thing. Or you can press command C. All right. Click here, command C. Command C if you're on the Mac, Control C if you're on a PC to copy. The alternative is to go to um, Edit and Copy, Copy Swoosh. That's the same thing, all right? Then you're gonna navigate to your drive. Here's my drive right here. Click on it, and you already see the Puma logo, the Puma.pes that we downloaded. Now we're gonna press Command V, and it drops copies makes a copy of that .pes file. Now, that's just a copy of the file, guys. So, in the downloads folder in my Mac, let me go go back over here. In the downloads folder, you can see that file still exists. So, you guys might go in your downloads folder, you might you might have a whole bunch of files that you downloaded from different websites and it still lives on your computer if your computer is running slow. Just a quick, you know, this has nothing to do with the tutorial, but you, you want to erase all those files and free up some space on your computer because a lot of times people have a whole lot of stuff in their downloads folder that they don't re even realize that they have and that's why their computer starts running slow. Just another FYI for you guys, to, something to think about. Okay, so now that we have our memory stick onto our, um, our uh, files onto our memory stick, we can go ahead and on a Mac, you just click on it, I double click and press eject and then it ejects that um, from our, uh, our memory stick. So we take our memory stick out of the uh, computer and we go ahead over to our embroidery machine and put it in. Let's go over to our embroidery machine and see if we can find it. All right guys, so we are now over at our embroidery machine. We have our memory stick right here. We're just gonna go ahead and turn on our embroidery machine. Hit the power button right here, all right? And then we're going to Touch the screen like we normally do. And we're going to go ahead and, actually let's cancel that. Sorry, disregard all that. <laughs> so we're gonna go take our stick and put it inside of the USB portion of our machine right here on the side. Just insert it in here. Just make sure you're putting it in the right way. 
okay? So now it's inserted into our machine. Move this away, out of the way. So now let's go look at the screen. At the screen of our embroidery machine, we hit this little button right here. And guys, just so you know, let, let me finish this up first. So we navigate over and we see our Puma and we see our Nike, both of the ones that we put on to the um, to the embroidery machine on different on different machines. We use a Mac to put one on, and then we use a PC to put the other one on. All right, so we got both of our files right there. You guys saw it. Both of them load up just fine and work just fine. Okay, so that is how you put. Um, the files that you get from alanayway.com onto a memory stick, guys. So everybody, I really hope that was helpful for you. Now you know how to put my files onto memory sticks and use it into your on your embroidery machines. So I can refer people to this video every time I get that question. I know some of you guys might say, this is obvious, but everybody's not on the same level. Everybody doesn't deal with technology the same. So you guys have to be um, respectful of the people that don't know how to use this technology like we do because uh, you know people came up in different times so for those of you guys who just learned this I want you to know also this doesn't just apply to my files what you guys can do is you can put any files that's on your computer onto a memory stick a memory stick is just a storage device so you can put music on there you can put pictures on there you can put um, Word documents, docu Microsoft doc, anything, anything that you can save to your computer, you can save onto memory sticks as long as the memory stick has enough space on, on it to hold that specific file, guys. So I hope it was helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up. If it was, leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you'd like me to sell some memory sticks that are preloaded, onto a on, on to, um, sell some memory sticks that have files already preloaded onto them so that I can mail them out to you guys and you guys can have just skip that whole process and just put it into your embroidery machine and be ready to go. Let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in and I will make that available on my website alanaway.com. Thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for bearing with me while I took so long to edit this video and create this video for you guys. Um, it's your boy Alan Way. Don't forget to visit the merch store alanaway.com. Buy yourself some channel merch. Help support the channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Adub Productions. Also go to facebook.com backslash Adub Productions. Like and follow that page. Also go to Facebook, facebook.com backslash King A Dub, like and follow that page. I greatly, greatly appreciate it, guys. It's your boy. Thank you for joining me. I love teaching you guys new stuff. So anything else you want to know, computer related, I don't mind making a video for you. So in the comments down below. Talk to you guys later. See you on the next one. Peace, your boy. Turn up that, crank it up. I listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby